MP435 uh, draining, cleaned up a good bit, scrubbed it down. Um, and uh, pressure washed the inside. Oh, not working out here. <sighs> All right, so I have the MP435 transmission. I have my instructions here. Um, I have a Novak uh, rebuild kit. Moving these four bolts. There we go. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> I've removed the front bearing retainer. Uh, it's right here. So this is the input shaft. So the race in this input bearing retainer is uh, is apparently really hard to remove. Pros in the rebuilding business uh, said they basically just buy new retainers because when they get these out, they damage this retainer. All right, so we're going to work on the main shaft. Um, I've got to remove this snap ring right here uh, before I can uh, before I can do anything else. So I'm going to work at this. Uh, I'm going to get my snap ring pliers. All right, so I grabbed uh, my Sharpie and I've just been labeling the parts as I take them off the main shaft, the snap ring A, the bearing B, and then this spacer C. Now I should be able to just pull this main shaft out of the case. Huh, dang, that do not look good. A little bit of a crime scene, the synchronizer spring. Let's see what else we can see in here. Okay, so this dropped out. Remove the rear spacer behind the 10 large splines. Okay, these are the 10 large splines, and this is the rear spacer right here. So there's the rear spacer I just took off. There's the first sliding gear, which is this. Oof. Okay. So there's the first sliding gear. And here's one of the, here are the two tangs. So there are two tangs. This is, this is the Torrington flat thrust bearing assembly. And it's sitting in between the input gear, which is this. and the third gear and the third gear uh, synchronizer hub gear. Remove the synchronizer assembly. Its hub should easily slide off the 35 splines. Uh, you'll usually encounter a few special shims with the tooth inside diameter between the third gear and the synchronizer assembly. Save these shims for reassembly. This whole package down face down so if it's face down it's point to the left the removal of third gear exposes the second gear snap ring so go face down next in line disassemble the second gear synchronizer assembly by gently prying the tanged flat retaining ring off the three posts that protrude through the gears 
set the gear retaining ring flat coil spring well this is the flat coil spring that's gone uh, we'll put that over here okay. this is the second gear snap ring I should be able to just insert this screwdriver in this notch and pry this bad boy off. There we go. I've removed the 14 millimeter bolts holding in the counter shaft cover and I'm going to tap this loose. I've got the needle bearings here that support the counter shaft, the end of the case, and this row of these caged bearings here. You can see which way they face. This is directional. So I'll put that in there. Now I should be able to lift this out of the box. There. Okay.